So we are going to make one of my favorites and even though it's completely veganized, it's a lobster roll. And most people usually make it using artichoke hearts or hearts of palm and I'm going to use hearts of palm. I'm just going to show you how I do it and how I feel as though this really gets the flavor of when you think of seafood. Seafood to me is the one type of actually flash meat that even if you don't really season it, it has a type of, um, it does have a natural like kind of flavor because of, and I feel so, you know, in the ocean with the seaweed and all of this. Now I do have, I used to soak seaweed and just to take a little of that essence, I don't like seaweed by itself, and do that when I'm making a faux seafood dish. I didn't do it that way, but it's still, this is still the same simple version that comes out really great. And of course, if you guys don't know, because I do get some people asking, um, I am not, uh, you know, 100% vegan. I just try to make sure my diet is usually 80% non-animal based and I feel as though that's a great way to start and for a lot of people um, who you know want to commit to have a bit of veganism in their life and you know they might still enjoy their other animal based products but anyways a quick dish that I know you guys will probably love I love and your carnivore friends and everyone else who enjoy so this is a batch of my homemade um, medicine and I have a video quickly on that this I need to um I should have put the annotations in there and update because this batch I love the best I use this with the correct oil that I wanted to so much more creamier it doesn't have a strong olive oil taste it's delicious any oozies so we have some hearts of palm and this is it cut up so I already cut it up, and the thing about hot palm is that it's, you know, it's quite firm, but still, it has a great, like, flesh, like, uh, not hard. Mm. It also have and this, um, this was just from the can, and it, um, the inside of the stalk usually have a flesh type thing, so what I do is I like to fork out. And you'll see how some of it will come flesh-like. I like to fork that out because I feel as though, just like in real lobster rolls, you'll have like the chunks and then you'll have some of the fresh uh, lobster like breaking off. So, basically what we're going to do is just add in, this is a stalk of celery, celery and with a little bit of fresh rosemary, a little bit of fresh dill and thyme goes great. I didn't have that on hand. I was making a quick lunch with... Well, that I had on hand. Oh, also, I already put the Obey on there. I put a little bit of lemon and herb um, Obey. So we're going to stir this around first. And I have my, I have an Italian little sub, Hoagie, which is vegan. Um, No eggs, milk products, or anything was used. Ooh, this is, I had it toasted. Oh, yeah, it's a little, it's a little extra hard. <laughs> um... Yeah, so stir this around, and then that's when we start to add in the mayo. And the great thing about this, you can make this as mayo-y as you like, or un-mayo-y. I'm going to mash a little bit mm, of, the, mm, of it a little more. So what am I to say? I like my things mayo-y. And I made that board up and I'm making a mess. So I'm gonna add a good amount. Um the good thing about making food, you're making it yourself, you can make it the way you want. Because some people don't like a lot of mayo, and then people have a a lobster roll and then they're like it's super mayo-y. This right here is a great consistency for me. It's basically like, um, basically like seafood salad. And I'm going to go ahead and add on, I'm just making my all the time, a little bit more. So base season. You can put a little bit of fresh lime. I didn't. Um, the Halston Palm 
it seems like sometimes I get it and it's pretty bland and sometimes it's good and it has like a natural like tang taste and this did I'm going to put on now you can use your vegan butter or your homemade vegan if you want I am just using an uh, a little bit of coconut oil and almond milk. You know, this is what I, when I, I call it the super quick, not real butter, but my fake butter. Um, I kind of just mix it together and it's, uh, yeah, almond milk and coconut oil. And I kind of just go to it. I don't emulsify it or blend it or anything of that nature. So that's where you get the chunks and oops, put my shirt over and everything. Um, so it's not as, as smooth as it could be. But I guess it goes on. It gives that more of a buttery, that buttery taste. I think um, plain coconut oil works. And of course, if you make your own vegan butter or anything like that. Look at that, you guys. Looks Jewish. So I'm going to go ahead and lay it in. Now, you don't have to use celery if you don't want to. I like to use, and you see my celery is quite big. You can use just a little or, um, what I'm about to say, just a little or none. Because the Obey does have celery seed. And celery seed really gives, to, always to me, great with, goes great with seafood. So, this looks absolutely Delish. And that's it. This is all you need. Um, you can add a little more if you want. But I really wanted you guys to see how delish it was. I hope you guys are getting a chance to eat and it's spilling out. <laughs> mm, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Let me know a favorite dish you would like for me to veganize. Or vegetarianized. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. It's so delicious, but like I said, you're probably going to want to cut the celery a lot smaller. But I don't know. I eat my rolls kind of funny. I enjoy them like that. So, mm -mm, next time, I have to work and eat. I will sit down and chat and eat with you guys, but I have a ton of work to do. So, I need to get to that. Thanks for joining in. See you guys. Follow me on Snapchat, Instagram. I'm not on, I don't post on Snapchat that much, but we're going to get into hang out with it. But right now, if you're on Instagram, I'm always up there. Um, out of the blue posting things I'm cooking or trying or even doing live cooking. So yeah, see you guys.